Hello and welcome to my presentation on Big Data Analytics and the Internet of Things, Implementing Technology and Data Integration to Develop Smart Insights. So, project overview. Um, I wanted to investigate the links between farming and agriculture industry and the usage of greener methods of electricity production, such as wind turbines and solar energy. 75% um, of UK land area in the agricultural sector was produced in the agricultural sector in um, 2015. Um, wind turbines are considered the most popular method for farms and in 2015 the UK had as much offshore as the rest of the world combined. The UK government could help subsidise farmers with feed-in tariffs. Um, with such a large amount of the UK land area in the agricultural industry, it means that this sector is well suited to harnessing the potential of renewable energy in the UK. The NFU, the National Farmers Union, believes that the farming and agricultural um, sector needs to capture the use of renewable energy flows and wind turbines are considered to be a suitable option. The farming industry needs to be... Um, um, with the help of the government, the feed-in tariffs can help farmers as it can help fund and support projects to build renewable energy on farmers' land. However, the government is looking to cut the support from April 2016, which may lead to a further decline in the development of this energy and less farms providing renewable energy. Um, and large and medium-sized farms are likely to suffer the most. So, functional requirements. Uh, my functional requirements were um, the data visualisation will need to show the relationship between renewable energy sources and farming. I will need to use IBM Watson Analytics to display my data and using two sources of data from various reliable sources. Watson Analytics is a tool that I could use to help interpret the data and displays the data in a clear manner which can be easily understood by others. Um, using two sources of data will help me to build on my conclusions and as suggested by Jay Easton that 80% of the data is of questionable veracity. It will be important that the data is from a reliable source so that the data from an outlet is considered to be giving truthful data will be important. Project justification. This project will lead to um, improvement and increase the production of renewable energy. A large amount of um, owned by farmers which makes them a suitable candidate to have the renewable energy on the land. This makes me think that there is potential for farms to produce more renewable energy than they currently do and um, would help the UK. Um, so with the right resources and funding farmers can benefit selling on the energy produced and it also helps to meet the data perfection data for humanity principle to help preserve and improve the natural environment. So project design and development. Uh, the project is, expect is expected to follow this order. Investigate the potential that farmers have for producing green energy, sourcing agriculture and farming data sets, limited resources around the farming and green renewable energy, UK government producing um, a data set for renewable energy and um, English farmers providing this information. Um, understanding the data that I was looking at and making sure it could provide me um, with useful insights. Using either Tableau software or iBeam Watson Analytics to analyse the data and submitting my data and gaining the insights. As farmers produce energy, I wanted to investigate and understand the potential for what current farmers currently provide. Learning the potential for what farmers currently do and um, know that there is potential to produce more energy. Once I had located the data sets, this helped me to understand what farmers currently do and before it helped me to decide which tool I wanted to use and investigate each first and then from that point I was able to use the tool which would be most beneficial to me which was IBM Watson Analytics. So insights gained, technical integration issues I found um, using IBM Watson Analytics Insight tool, uh, moving data from a spreadsheet to IBM Watson, um, building my own or IBM can develop um, insights itself and data be, can be cleansed with a tool. 
Although there are sometimes misunderstandings of the data it's interpreting, as long as the data is in readable format, it can be a really powerful tool. Um, however, I did find some problems with Watson Analytics, and these were, it could be quite temperamental uploading the data and it would lead it to freeze for long periods or not upload at all. Data, set, data sources were limited to 50 rows, so identity cleansing would need to be done if it is to be successfully uploaded. If I wanted to compare data sets, I would need to use SQL to do this. Um, so I ended up using two sets of data and then drawing my own conclusions from both. So insights gained from data sourcing. Um, data sourcing is sourcing um, data sets from any websites online. Um, these can be through government or um, 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 companies that may provide this information. Um, so I gained a number of my data sets from public sources available to all. I had some difficulty finding renewable energy for farms, particularly within the UK. Um, the data sets on date.gov UK provided me with a large range of government-based information about the farming industry and gave me data around planning for renewable energy. The government data sets provided me with an overall view and the UK and EU data sets provided me with information required to build a project. However, some data sets were limited to one year. This limited the insights that I could have gained in my project. Larger organisations such as BP provided information about global energy usage. When using Watson Analytics, I sourced my data from Eurostat and data.gov. The Statistical Office of the European Union, Eurostat, um, provided statistics on Europe. And for me, I looked into the area of national resources and this provided me with a number of information material about this and raw materials, energy resources and air as a few examples. These sources of data were very detailed and provided me with the information I could um, use for my project. Um, Data.gov also provided me with um, some information. However, one of the key data sets that I found for UK Renewable Energy Planning database was only limited to 2010. If there was other years on the Data.gov UK website, this would have been a great help and it could have helped produce my project more. Okay, so insights gained from data cleansing. Um, so data cleansing is a process of amending or removing data that is incorrect, incomplete or improperly formatted or duplicated. Um, this has been used so it could cleanse the data so it could be presented correctly by Watson Insight. For my project, I use a variety of sources from a variety of different um, places. This included data that was in a PDF format that had to be changed into a table. A large number of the sources I looked at were in reports that had to be transferred into a CSV or Excel format. The data I used needed to be cleansed so it could be read and interpreted by IBM Watson Analytics. This presented me with a number of challenges to make sure the data could be read. To make sure it could be read, I had to change the spreadsheets with a number of tables on it so it could be read easily. Any titles had to be removed and columns had to be given accurate column titles so it could be understood by the user. And if um, the report, if the information was shown in a report or document format, this also had to be changed into an Excel spreadsheet. So insights gained from data integration. The insights I've gained are merging two data sets can be quite difficult. Using Watson Analytics, it needed to be in the correct format for uploading and difficult to integrate data sets instead conclusions needed to be built from two separate data sets. So problems I found using Watson Analytics, it could be quite temperamental uploading the data and would freeze for long periods or not upload at all. And data sets were limited to 50 rows. Um, using the data to make sure the first row of data of the file would be suitable as the title had to be um, removed to make sure this was correct. Um, however, I did find some benefits of using Watson in um, Watson Insight. It can interpret data to be shown in a map graphic, which is useful for displaying the data. And statistics can be shown and interpreted from the data as with the EU dataset. 
So um, my analytical, analytical insights from the EU renewables data set. Using the map tool on IBM Watson Analytics, this indicated the spread of renewable energy in Europe. I learnt from the e-statistics, renewable energy is generated more in Europe, Western Europe than Eastern Europe. And the larger the country, the larger the energy production. Um, from this data set, um, again, it showed that a large amount of data was produced in um, Western Europe. And um, this indicates that perhaps the large countries have perhaps more to spend on renewable energy than the smaller ones. And um, so, for example, with the United Kingdom, it shows that since 2004, um, the UK has almost tripled its energy production. So this is showing um, the energy production from 2004 to 2013. Um, analysis of this data gave me an idea of who provides a large amount of energy, um, renewable energy in Europe. Um, the larger the circle indicates the amount of renewable energy produced by that country in 2013. And the colour of the country, not shown very well here, but on IBM Watson it shows this, um, indicates the energy they produced in 2004. Um, this shows how the amount of energy produced by some countries has changed in the space of 10 years. Um, and that Sweden and Germany are large producers of renewable energy. So moving on to my insights from the English um, farming renewable energy data set that I found. Um, age ranges from 45 to 54 and 55 to 64 were the age ranges with the highest production of renewable energy and smaller farms were more likely to invest in this energy. Um, this shows that from 45 to retirement age were the most likely group to invest in renewable energy um, but the cost of implementing a renewable source of energy would be why some age groups are perhaps less willing to invest in this type of energy. Um, this is it and then from the small energy, the small farms are more likely to invest in energy. Um, this is surprising as prior to this I would have su suggested that the larger farms are more likely to invest as they would have, have the, been able to have the land to produce this energy. So this shows the number of holdings compared by the age of the holder and again from you can see that there's a slight increase um, from the age ranges from 45 um, 45 to 54 and 55 to 64 of being the largest producers of renewable energy. So as part of my project, Data of Humanity had a large part to play in choosing the project I wanted to look at. Um, so looking at these um, principles had a key part um, with the one goal of to bring people together and share motivation to use data for common good and human well-being. Um, these five principles created by Professor Roberto Sicari and Professor Andre Zvita, these principles are based around the common goal and using data for the common good. Um, so um, the first principle is likely to be considered um, in this area of farming and agricultural industry. This is an industry that serves humanity and helps provide food for everyone. The second principle um, highlights that parts of the world that perhaps face great difficulty um, with famine and poverty and the world farming community will need to come together to support those in need. Um, the third principle is looking at increasing methods for supporting everyone and will be focused providing food for everyone with a population set to grow by an extra 2 billion by 2050. It is important that in farms become more efficient. The fourth principle is to look at renewable farms producing renewable energy and perhaps supporting the local area. The fifth um, principle will look at um, the consideration towards increasing the population and those that face poverty and family, these will be the people that will need to be helped and supported. So conclusion, um, lack of open data source available for farming and agriculture industry um, which meant that my findings were reduced. Um, dependent on decreasing costs for installing renewable sources of energy, um, indication that cost of wind and solar power is likely to decrease by with solar decreasing by 80% and availability of renewable energy on farms in England. Um, improvements need to be made around what data is published to the public. Um, the lack of data um, 
published will need to be increased for others to gain insights. Um, and this hindered my findings. Instead, I had to look at government data and EU data sets. Um, improvements will still be made to make that data sets are published to the public. As on data.gov.uk, there was holes in the data shown as one of the data sets was used was published only from 2010. If there um, was more data collected for other years, this would be very beneficial and would help to give an interesting insight into how farms are changing their methods of renewable energy production. Thank you for your time today and I hope this was beneficial. Thank you.